It is our current contention that this is what is happening with CrossFitters. They have developed an increased work capacity across broad time and modal domains. It is an observation, but it also has become formative and it is suggesting uh, to us each what we do next, what we do in our programming. I'm going to translate this for you to make it easy. Increase work capacity, more power, more power, work capacity, force distance, capacity relative to what? To time. Can you do more work? Can you move large loads, longer distances in less time? Across broad time and modal domains. Broad time, what I mean is from short duration to long duration. Can you do a ladies 95 pound clean and jerk, which really comes down to a, uh, a, a, an anyhow from ground to overhead, 95 reps 30 times. Can you do that in less time than it used to take you? 10,000 meter row. Are you doing it in less time than you used to do it? Fran, Helen, Elizabeth, Diane, work out 07, 06, 9, uh, 5, 1, 3, 1, whatever. Doesn't matter. Modal domains. Shoveling gravel, crossing a, dra uh, a crocodile infested moat, scaling the castle wall, uh, slaying the dragon, rescuing the damsel in stress. I don't care. Is it functional? Was it the intensity there? And have you increased your work capacity on the short end and the long end through a multitude of constantly varied efforts? You can actually see, when you think about it, when you look at this, you can see our aims of a broad general inclusive fitness and the, the prescription really shows here, and it ought to. There ought to be hints of the prescription and the adaptation. If you wallow around on the Swiss ball while juggling cantaloupes, I'm going to promise you that pretty good you get you get pretty good soon you'll get good enough at it people go like Bucky's pretty good at that look at him wall around the Swiss ball and juggle cantaloupes you'll be better at though that that than people that don't and so what happens is that the manifestation of constantly varied functional movements executed in high intensity becomes an increased capacity within a, a wide range of time and modalities more work regardless of the task, preferably, hopefully, most advantageously to any application would be in functional movement. And in the short end and the long end, entirely consistent with our wanting to what? Maximize outputs in that, in that <coughs> high intensity, moderate intensity, and low intensity metabolic pathway. Do you see in here, this here, I do, I do. But this wasn't a conclusion drawn from looking at what we set out to do. This, was, this is actually measured. And what we can do, what we have done, is looked at groups of people, whether you're talking about an individual, the front row, the entire room, or the Canadian forces. And what we've been able to do is actually look at duration of effort and power output and collect data points repeatedly at short duration, moderate duration, and long duration. And you can actually look at the area under that curve and make some quantitative assessment, very important quantitative assessment, as to the readiness or the capacity of an individual, a group of people, to make any kind of comparison you want. Now, for us, this single metric has primacy uh, over just about anything else that's ever been looked at in terms of fitness.